Heyo, Duckies, and Dilly here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and this is a new plugin directly from your boy, Exceldro, again, smashing it out of the park with this one. So, you guys all know in OBS 26, you have got the virtual little camera thing uh, that you can use in the bottom right corner, start virtual camera just down there. Basically, he's created a filter that you can just apply this onto a select source or scene. You're probably like thinking, well, well, what would you want that for? Basically, rather than just showcasing your whole entire canvas, you can select just a single source. So maybe your webcam source, or maybe just your screen source, without showcasing everything else on the canvas. So it's completely up to you how you do it, all right? So make sure you like this video. Let's get on with it. Also subscribe, put your rock of the stone. Let's go. Right, so to get this to work, you're only going to need one plugin, and that's a new one from Exceldro. This is Virtual Cam Filter version 0.0.1. I don't know where he's going to go with this one, but we'll see. Just like every plugin, no doubt there'll be updates. So you just need to hit download just up in the top right here. The link is in the description. Uh, once you press download, this is only available for Windows right now, so just download the installer and run it. It should install then to uh, program files for you automatically. If not, you can check out my other videos on how to install plugins just up there at the top. Right, let's just get on with it, shall we? So, I'm going to open up OBS and also Discord just here because we're going to be using OBS Virtual Camera. So, you'll know um, OBS Virtual Camera is down in this bottom right-hand corner so you can see Start Virtual Camera. It's a button under the control section in OBS. It only comes with OBS 26 and above. So, when I press Start Virtual Camera just there, you can see in that uh, camera preview just here, yeah, obviously, we're, we're in Discord at the moment. You can use this on Discord, Skype, pretty much anything that you can use a, a camera as an input. Uh, you'll see OBS Virtual Camera as a drop-down. But if I turn on different scenes like this, different sources and change scenes, this constantly updates just here. Don't worry about it being mirrored. They just do that for your representation, but what they... Uh, what anybody sees on the other end will be fine. You can also flip it depending on what software you you are using as well so i'm just going to press stop for now because this the, this plugin that excel has made is the actual dream for anything like this so i've got two sources just here i'm going to move media source up to the top me playing some music yeah i do music guys check out my music up there and down below uh, you can check out some of my original stuff or covers so we've got media source 2 here i'm going to right click on it and press filters Press the plus sign on effects at the bottom and you'll have virtual camera. If you've not got that, you've not installed it correctly. So go back to basics, get get back, try and reinstall it again. Make sure you are running OBS 26 and above. We're going to select that and just call it virtual camera for now. Nothing's going to pop up at all. You can't see anything. We're just going to turn the effect off and turn it back on. And you'll see straight away our preview just there inside of Discord. We're going to close this. And... Uh, Obviously, that's the same effect that we've got compared to when we were using a virtual camera. But this time, if we turn that off, it freezes it, and it's not playing anything else on the canvas. So that does mean if we move this source underneath everything so it's right behind, it carries on sending it through. So we're displaying something completely different to what is on the canvas currently. But if we do turn the visibility off, it freezes it like so. But this does mean if you're doing multiple things and you want to be showing uh, an extra webcam, for instance, you can just put it off your canvas just like that. Even though it's not on the canvas, it is still playing there. And that, that means that you'll be able to put multiple webcams in. So if I, say, remove this uh, filter just for a second, and I'm going to create a webcam source... Because a lot of people, um, when you're doing YouTube filming like I am right now, you can only put your camera in one app at once. So if you want in multiple kind of cam, uh, cam, not camera angles, but you want to edit the camera whilst you're recording, rather than having two cameras, you can do this setup by turning it into a virtual camera. So if I add virtual camera now, just into there, turn it off, turn it back on again, you'll see I'm available just there. So I can move this around off camera, just down here, off the canvas, everything like that, and it'll still keep playing. This does mean if I am um, creating another kind of thing in OBS or something like that. So I'm going to open up another version of OBS. 
because this is how I work and kind of uh, record multiple videos at once and things like that. So I'm just going to press OK to this. And if I change to a blank version of OBS here, we've got to delete these and say I want to use that camera, but it's already in use, so I can't use it, right? So if I go to video capture device, press OK. See, it's not activating because it's already in use somewhere else on my computer. So I'm going to press the drop down, go to OBS virtual camera. And as if by magic, I have got another um, instance of my camera running in a different app at the same time. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I know that is a bit of a, a mouthful uh, on the way that it works. But if you're using multiple apps and you want to use the same camera, no need to have multiple cameras for that now. You can just create a virtual camera inside OBS and send it out everywhere. It is really handy. You can make some cool effects with it. But I'm going to leave that up to your imagination. You can also use that that same filter on a scene so it doesn't have to be on a source so experiment with that as well guys but if i've helped you out press that little like button also subscribe because i've got tons of content to teach you guys how to take your streams to the next level okay let's keep innovating and blowing this place up if you really want to support make sure you do check out the patreon page or consider pressing that join button down below put your rock in the stone much love to you all I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.